Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here, I'll be reviewing this borescope from Teslong. This is their TD450S model with the articulating tip. A link to this will be included in the video description. This is a two-way articulating borescope and I'll show you this in a moment. This has five feet of reach and is able to navigate through tight spaces, viewing objects that just pass through with the articulating head. The borescope and accessories comes in a hard EVA carrying case to keep everything in one place and protect it. The carrying case is 16.6 inches wide, 8.5 inches deep, and 3.34 inches in height. It also comes with a 32 gigabyte memory card and has a USB-C charging and a data cable. On the lid of the plastic case is a zipper pouch to keep all the accessories safe and prevent them from falling out. Press and hold the power button to turn it on. This is ready to use straight out of the box. No assembly or setup is required, which makes it very portable and user friendly. It has a 4.5 inch IPS screen. IPS screens are known for having a faster response time, wider viewing angle, better color and contrast, outstanding color accuracy, and screen consistency. This means you'll have the best possible experience when doing an inspection. The screen has a resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. It has 8 LEDs, which have various brightening settings to see in those dark spaces. Being able to adjust the LEDs can help with detail. Sometimes having the LEDs too bright can cause viewing issues, so having them dimmable gets around this. As you can see, the articulating tip is controlled by a thumb lever under the monitor. As mentioned earlier, this is a 5-foot cable. It's semi-rigid, it's able to hold this shape, and can maneuver around tight spaces. The tip is able to articulate in two directions, has a 70 degree viewing angle, 2 megapixel camera, is 0.33 inches in diameter, and has a 0.6 to 4 inches for depth of field. It can articulate a maximum of 210 degrees, so it's able to view back and behind an area it's already passed through. The camera is equipped with a temperature probe, and has a heat alarm feature when it exceeds 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's a close-up of the controls. M switches the different modes. The front trigger button is either to take photos or enable recording when in video mode. The top left of the screen will have an icon showing what mode you're in. The top right will show the temperature, if the microphone is on, if there's an SD card, and your current battery charge. The bottom left will show if you're currently recording. This is only in video mode. And the bottom right is the date and time stamp. The down arrow allows you to rotate the image. Settings is the various options. First is a resolution and there is only one setting of 1280 by 720. Next on the screen is sound recording and date stamp. Pressing the settings button again one more time will bring up more options. This includes automatic shutdown, language, units of temperature, date and time, format, default settings, and current version of firmware. Next is a light button which changes the brightness of the camera. And finally we have the zoom button. This will enlarge the image to further improve detail viewing. Here are some examples of the footage that's unedited. This does have some limitations due to this shorter reach of cable. However, it would still be excellent for various fields such as construction, heavy equipment, automotive, machining, electrical, and inspections. Its compact and lightweight design makes it easily portable to any workplace. The 3000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery provides plenty of work time throughout a long day. There is a built in microphone to document whatever you're doing. This is great for logging information in the moment and keeping all that information in one spot. Overall, I have to say this is an excellent addition to anyone's toolbox. The camera cable I do find is a little more rigid than compared to the other models, which may make it a little harder to maneuver around tight spaces, but it's also not as easily affected by bumps or objects where it changes your camera viewing angle. The short cable does make it easier to manage, so if you don't need a borescope with a long reach, then this is perfect for you. Some of the other uses and not limited to are inspections and walls for water leaks, determine where components run, or pest control. It can also be used for engine inspections, checking frames for rust, finding fluid leaks, etc. Have you purchased this product in the past? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.